How to intercept an attack in JKD. Thank you, Shane. Appreciate it, appreciate it. So JKD, the way of the intercepting fist, what does that mean and how do you actually apply it in combat? Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do, the way of the intercepting fist. That's where the name came about. Now, if you study Bruce or if you watch him in the various movies, and that's what got me hooked. The whole philosophy of JKD, in order to understand it, you have to understand where they came from. Now, if you watch maybe The Birth of the Dragon, or you know a little bit about the very famous Wong Jackman fight. Before that fight, Bruce was all Wing Chun, very much used the range and principle, straight blast, the typical stance, um, with a lot of attributes, meaning power, speed, and timing. It's not a typical Wing Chun, it's like a modified Wing Chun. Very, very effective. After the Wang Jiaman fight, he changed into, you know what, that fight took too long. How come, and he was, he was losing, and he was endurance wasn't as good, and he thought to myself, how come I couldn't end that fight in second? Why did it take so long, even though he won? So he thought to himself, what do I need to do? Now, if you understand the Wing Chun principle, Wing Chun very often is about hitting and defending at the same time. So you have, you know, your Tan Cell, you have your Pak Cell, Lap Cell, all the basic techniques. Someone throws a strike, I can deflect and defend and attack at the same time. And Bruce thought, okay, that's good, right? That's already at like better than most kind of martial philosophy, because a lot of martial philosophies, what do they do? You defend, and then you attack, right? You defend and you attack. That's stage number one. Second stage, kind of Wing Chun, you kind of, okay, so, so to demonstrate very simply, okay, let's say he throws a hook punch, a typical, it's not about the technique, I'm just trying to demonstrate principle. So a typical is I block, right? I block and then I would hit, right? So that's, I block and hit to beat. Then Wing Chun is more like I, you hit, I block and hit at the same time. So Bruce thought, is there a more efficient, more effective way to end a fight faster? He said, instead of me blocking here at the same time, what if when he attacks, I just attack? So I attack before I even defend. And that's how he came about the concept of intercepting. Instead of waiting for this guy to get this close, why don't I just intercept his strike? Because the philosophy, the psychology of this is this. When he's thinking of attacking, he's not thinking of defending. Your mind cannot do two things at once. So when he's thinking of hitting me, he's not thinking of blocking. So there's that window of gap, and Bruce was so freaking good at reading people. He could see that split of microsecond that, oh, you lose focus, or you want to hit me. That intention, he could intercept. So when it comes to intercepting a strike, in JKD and attack. There are four ways that you do it, okay? And we can go a lot deeper, but for now, I just wanna give you four simple concepts. And again, these are principles. These are not fucking techniques. It's not about technique. I can do the finger jab, I can do the punch, I can do the jab, I can do the hook kick, I can do, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's not about that, it's about the principle. So the very first way you can intercept, intercept someone is you use the luxury of distance, longest weapon against the nearest target, which is intercept the leg. Because for someone, an attacker, to touch me, he has to come to me, right? It doesn't matter, how, unless he's an alien or something like that. He's got multiple legs and arms. Two legs, two arms. So in order for him to attack me, he has to come to me. And very often, if he's thinking of punch, the leg is a good way to intercept someone. In JKD, we usually like to do what we call the side kick or the low side kick to the shin. Right? Now, the way you do it, so I will show Shin a bit. Different ways you can do that. Again, not about technique. Some cases, we do what they call a stop kick. That's it. So when he comes over, it's, I just stop him. I'm not trying to kick him. You see my body balance like that. I'm just trying to stop him. I'm leaning a little bit of my weight on him. See that? So I want to break his knee, right? So it's more like that, right? I'm exaggerating, it's more like that. Why that is effective, because I'm, as I'm on the weight on him, this is right there, right? So that's a stop kick. Or 
Sometimes it could be more of a side kick instead of a stop kick. It's more like a hip motion, a hip motion directly to the knee. Kneecap, right? So it's more, if I'm not hitting shin, it's more like a storm. It's more like a storm. So from there, imagine you're stomping something, boom! Right there, the knee. So that's intercept the leg. Second thing you can intercept is the body, right? Big guy, open up. You start to hit the body. You so maybe a front kick. Maybe this is okay because it's not growing any way, growing protector. I like this. Just right there, like that. You can do it with toe if you're wearing any kind of sports shoes or boots. <laughs> it's gonna be painful. So that's, you can intercept the body with this, or also could be with a side kick, right? From there, he comes, boom, right there. That's a body. I'm intercepting with his body, or here. Could also be here, right? If he comes over, could also be there, right? So, body. Third thing you can intercept is the hand, right? So definitely can you step. So let's say he throws a punch this way. Go ahead. Right there. Cut one more time slow. From here. That's a cut, that's an interception. So I'm not blocking and hitting. Go ahead, hit. Right there. I'm doing that at the same time. One more time. It looks something like that. Right? So intercept the leg, the hand, the body. The fourth way you do it which is the level that you want to get to, which is bruises at, and it's like intercept his intention. Not physical movement. I'm reading his eyes, I'm reading his soul, his emotion, that maybe he wants to attack. Maybe he has the intention of hurting me, or the people next to him, or my girlfriend, my wife, that intention. If you can read that, or even the slightest, let me show you. So I'm looking at you. You saw that? You saw that? Very micro movement. That's getting a punch load up ready to hit. But it's very tiny. See that? Same thing with the leg. If I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kick you, watch. You saw that? This much. Very micro. It's from here. That's already getting load up, and I'm going to fire kick. But all I did is this. See that? That's the intention. Or sometimes people look at it, look at the eyebrow. Or you see how my also my eyes it opens up. That's intention. So you learn to read very very micro movement, which is very very difficult to do because you're learning to try to read the micro expression that's where you want to get to intercept the intention so four ways to intercept an attack intercept the leg intercept the body intercept the hand intercept the intention easier said than done easier said than done because what it requires you to do is you have to very have a very strong foundation in Bruce's case Wing Chun foundation that you can you need to be able to at first just block and hit and then be able to block and hit at the same time simultaneously and then you need to be able to intercept before you block. So you got to work through level one, level two, level three. Then you got to work your reflexes. You got to be able to read. You got to be able to judge distance. You got to be able to generate enough power. You need to have no hesitation. You got to learn on turn the killer instinct in a very short period of time. All that's happening within a split of a second. Not so easy. That's why it makes JKD so fucking difficult. It is not a difficult art to understand. Oh yeah, I get it, the way of the intercepting fist. You fucking do it. Can you do it? Can you do it again and again? Can you do it without thinking? With just feeling, with reading intention? Can you do it with precise execution, target, power, speed, and timing? All of that. That's why it's such a difficult art. Me, I've been learning, I've been practicing, I've only scratched the surface. I could spend a hundred years learning this. I won't even scratch the surface. And that's why it needs a lot of practice. And through this process, through learning the art, you learn something about yourself. 
you learn to eliminate your own defect. You learn, you have a deep understanding. And you learn to be more humble. Doesn't matter how good you get, you know what, I've, I could spend again a hundred years, I won't even scratch the surface. It keeps you humble. It keeps you have a, 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 a more balanced view about life. And that's why I teach martial arts in my channel. Not teach you how to fight, and you could fight, but through fighting, through motions, through forms, through training, you learn something about yourself. And you become a better person, you become a better man, a better woman, a better businessman, a better husband, a, a, better, a better wife, a better son, a better daughter. That's what this is about. And you cannot do that just sitting there meditating. I think it's easy to do that when you do it through motions. When you hit something, when you hurt something, when you think about something, when you correct something, that constant improvement, something happens. That's what this channel is about. So comment below, share with me maybe what martial art means to you, or how that has impacted your life as a human being. Or maybe you, are, you have no martial art training. You're watching my martial art video for the first time, you're like, you know what, I love this philosophy. I want to take a martial art. I know a lot of people, they watch my video, they get inspired and, and they go take their first martial art class. I'm very happy if I have that impact in your life, that's awesome. If you have not never watched my other videos, this is the first time, who is this Dan Lok guy in his penthouse? Click the subscribe button, you'll learn a lot more about me and different things that I do. You meet my wife, you meet my team, you see the different things that I do, different aspects of my life. Maybe you learn something from it. Maybe not, I don't know. Check out my other videos on this side. Until next time, be water my friend.